Learning how to have self-confidence, believe in yourself, and not getting played by a woman can sometimes be the hardest thing for a man to figure out because becoming stronger requires a lot more concentration. But being weak is something that everyone can relate to, which is why it's easier to stay weak than it is to become strong. So today we're going to be talking about how to stop being a nice guy, beta man. Watch this. Stacy talking about eating ass again. And bro, I didn't... you! Oh, shit. Stop fucking playing with me! Bro, you I'm always... not one of them, bro. I'm like, not. Like, some real shit? You, you some... Bro, fuck you got... I was, I was lying. You. Bro, you gotta go ahead, bro. I'm not, no. You're you not gotta go it. ahead, bro. Right, I'm... You gotta go ahead, bro. I ain't like, know you. You should have told me she was in like, the car. Like, you be on some weirdo shit, bro. Well, you, 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 this is bullshit. Yo, you should have told me. You should have told me she was in the car, bro. I'm in there talking about the young Stacy. How she trying to eat the cakes? I ain't get it done, but I, I got an appointment. My fucking ears ringing, Dom. She did smack the shit out you. You got insurance? Fuck you. You always running your fucking mouth, yo. I told you, give me a pre text or something. She in the car. Yeah, yeah, Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe button, and the notifications button at the end of the video. All right, let's get started. First, you have to understand that if you're having a hard time transitioning from a nice guy beta male into an alpha male, there are certain things that are happening in your life that are keeping your mind in that mindset, all right? One of the reasons that's happening is you're too close to your mom and you're too close to your female friends and your sisters. The reason why you're still a beta male is because you're always in contact with women who are not dogging you out. See, most beta males get along with women very good. You know why you get along with women very good? Because they don't want to date you. So they get around you and they start having good conversation. You get to hang around the girls. And next thing you know, you think you're popular amongst the women. You're not popular amongst the women unless all of them are fighting over you. That's when you know you're the man. It's when all the girls are sitting amongst each other, arguing in front of each other for your attention. But when you're sitting amongst a gang of women and they're just talking about other guys and they're talking about life in general, you're just the guy that they trust. You're the beta male, all right? Now, when it comes to you being the beta male, being that you have such a connection to these women, you start to think the only women that are bad are the ones that I'm dating. So you separate the ones from the, the ones that you're dating from the ones that you're actually friends with. So the more you're around your mom, your friend, and your relatives, your cousins that are women that you're really cool with, the more you start believing like, all right, all I got to do is find a woman like them. But what you don't notice about these women that you're surrounded by, nine times out of 10, they've had a bad relationship themselves. They're in and out of relationships. They're constantly telling you about guys mistreating them that they're still talking to. See, that's what women talk about. Women talk about, how do I get him to do this? How do I get this man to do this? How do I get this man to do that? So you'll be the guy in that conversation. You're trying to teach them how to maneuver around guys, but you can't teach them because you don't know how he's thinking. That's why you're a beta male. It's because you're cool with women that you're not dating and the women that you're dating are dogging you out. So the women that you're around have you believing that there's still a chance that you can fall in love. We're going to elaborate on this later. Next, we're going to get into men. You're surrounded by men that have been played by women too. See, nowadays, it's easy for blue pill men, beta males, to find another beta male to, have, to talk about their problems with. It's called trauma bonding. That's where you've had problems with women and he's had problems with women. And all of a sudden you guys get around each other. That's how the manosphere is. The manosphere is filled with a lot of guys that have gotten played by women. So 
In the manosphere, it's a form of trauma bonding. You're surrounded by weaker men that have been weak like you. So what does that do? That becomes part of your neurological system. And when I say your neurological system, I mean the pain that you're going through. See, when women start dating the wrong person over and over again, it becomes part of their neurological system. In order for them to be happy, they have to experience pain over again. Well, you as a beta male, you go through the same thing. It's just that once you dated four or five bad females, you'll start dating them for the rest of your life because now your neurological system starts to adjust to those bad women. You start becoming a servant to those bad women. Those bad women start seeing you as a servant and they start taking advantage of you. The older you get, the worse it's gonna get when you stay inside of this beta spectrum, all right? What's affecting you the most is the simple fact that everywhere that you go in life, you're a nice guy that always has somebody to talk to about your problems. That's the gift and the curse at the same time. What you have to do, you have to separate yourself from everybody because you have to break the curse that's already around your aura, which means that when you're hanging around females, you're hanging around females that ain't gonna hurt you. When you're hanging around guys, you're hanging around guys that's been through the same stuff as you, so you guys found the way to trauma bond, but you're not hanging around people that's gonna make you stronger psychologically. You and the guy that they complain about don't get along. All you do is sit back and try to figure out why those women like the guys that don't do all the nice stuff you do. And when you get around the guys that have been through problems, you're talking about everything that you and him have done to make a woman happy and she still hasn't been happy. All right, you got to get past that. You're on that cycle, hanging around women that don't, that, that that's not going to hurt you. And then you're hanging around guys that's been hurt. Separate yourself from everybody. And the reason why you have to separate yourself from everybody is because that's how you're going to get your masculinity back. Most of you guys, blue pills, you're not going to get your masculinity back until you wake up by yourself, until you go to sleep by yourself, until you find a way to better yourself by yourself. Most guys that are going through semen retention are going to do this by themselves. Their friends are going to drop off, their female friends are going to drop off, and then their dreams of what they want to do in life are going to actually drop in. You have to replace the communication that you're having with people that are nice to you and have been through problems just like you. You have to stop that. So you have to break the curse of your neurological system and program your neurological system to release in dopamine only whenever you're bettering yourself, only whenever you're getting stronger. See, a lot of guys that were weak and they get in the gym, they may start off shaky in the gym. But after they don't been in the gym after a couple weeks and it becomes part of the neurological system, now they get a high to go to the gym. The body's gonna release dopamine the moment it's in the gym trying to better itself versus releasing dopamine doing the thing that hurt them. You must transition that energy. So you must separate yourself from your family and friends, but you don't have to do it for too long. You just have to break the cycle of you being needy by needing emotional support. As long as you have emotional support, you're not going to challenge your body to change. In order for your body to change, you have to develop discipline. When you're by yourself, now you can refrain from calling your, your girlfriends up and going hanging out with the girls. Now you can refrain from calling your guy friend up and talking about how mean women are. You can refrain from that by trying to be part of the crowd. Once you remove yourself from the crowd, then you remove the neurological system of the crowd. That's what you got to realize as a beta male. You're constantly fulfilling the circle of emotional need. Alpha males do not need emotional need. They don't need people around them stroking their the show. They don't need people around them stroking their shoulders of insecurity. They're actually moving on. A person that does not have a dream is going to live the worst life because they're gonna wake up trying to live the life that society tells them to live. And in today's world, society tells you the perfect life is in a thousand different ways. Being beta just means you're a nice guy. But you have to understand the nice guy syndrome only works in certain cases.
but you the beta male, you're thinking that if you're not the nice guy, everybody's going to look at you as being the mean guy. And then everybody is not going to want to be your friend and they're not going to want to be around you. But you got to break that. The more you don't want to be around people, the more they're going to want to be around you. Think about the friend that you see every now and then. Isn't the conversation with them better when you guys sit back and talk about everything you haven't seen on a day-to-day -day basis from each other versus talking to somebody that you see every day? You know why it's fun talking to that person that you don't see all the time? Because they're in motion. They're actually doing things that you ain't got figured out. It's like that with women too. When you start worrying about yourself and you stop worrying about what everybody else, everybody gonna start worrying about you. And that's when you become an alpha. See, when they open up their mind and their brain to listen to what you gotta say, that's when you gain control over people. You can't gain control over people when people already have you figured out. All your leaders that have ruled the world in wars lost the moment their enemies figured them out. The alpha male doesn't allow you to figure him out because the alpha male doesn't do too much talking. The alpha male doesn't try to be part of everything. He tries to rule everything. In order for you to break the curse of a beta male, you have to have a rulership mindset. Rulers don't hang out with the soldiers. You know what I'm saying? The kings all congregate together. The servants congregate together that's how it is when it's alphas and there's betas alphas don't roam together they roll alone but sigmas we roll completely alone alphas lead the weak while they rule alone alpha males use weaker males to make their self successful sigma males use their brain to make themselves successful Beta males are always the ones getting used because they think their emotions is the rulership. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully I was able to get through you the conditioning of the beta male on why you must go alone to deter, why you must roll alone, find yourself is the only way to break in the beta male. If not, go hang out with your female friends and go hang out with your male friends that have been hurt too and keep the cycle going and y'all can sit back and complain. Only a certain amount of people gonna make it to the top. And I'm sorry to tell you this, but in the manosphere, most of y'all ain't gonna make it. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button and hit that notifications button. Hasta la vista.